Hey my loved ones, it is your girl Chanel and today I have another hauling on that ass video. I am hauling some products that I bought from Rite Aid. So um, I originally went to Rite Aid to try to find the um, color tattoos, the brand new fall collection. Not the other collection with the blues and the purples or whatever those other color tattoos. I wanted the ones with the gold the brown I wanted those neutral color tattoos I wasn't looking for the other ones I really don't want the other ones because they kind of look way too similar to the original color tattoo so I really wasn't all hyped up about that but I was really hyped up about the fall collection but dang the color tattoos they just keep coming out with all these new colors right give us a chance to buy the first ones before we could get to the second ones so, I didn't find them at Rite Aid, but I found some other things at Rite Aid that I was like, okay, yeah, this is the business. So, first I'm going to tell you guys that I bought all of the colored mascaras from Great Lash Maybelline. I haven't opened them yet. I really want to try to use, I did open one of them. I want to try to use the green in my Emerald um, Burstone series look. But I purchased all the colors. This one right here is totally teal. And it looks like this. And you guys got to excuse me. I am real sick right now. But I did not want to just lay in the bed all day. I did that yesterday. Um, this one is Go Go Green. Let me open it. Should have had these open, huh? I'm a, I'm gonna open them and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So like I said, this one is totally teal, which is a teal mascara, very pretty. And I'm gonna do a separate video on these. I think I probably coat each one of my lashes with them so you guys could see how it looks and if they are pigmented or not or not. This one is called Blink of Blue, and it looks like this. This one is Pop of Purple. Looks like that. And the last one is Go Go Green. And it looks like that. Okay, so I part purchased those. And I purchased... Um, this black opal lipstick in ebony wine because I was looking for a nice deep purple for my February birthstone series the amethyst so I was looking for a nice purple um I found this one but this one is like more of a a cocoa brown or something a purple brown let me swatch it it's a pretty color though but it's more brown than purple so it looks like that. I don't think my purple looks going to be that deep. But I did find this lip stain by Black Radiance. And it, this one is in... Um, there's no name, but it's like a really pretty purple. And let me swatch it. And this is a lip stain. It's not a lip gloss. So I might just wear the lip stain for that tutorial. And it looks like that. And also, I purchased this Black Radiance Artesian Color Bake Bronzer. And this one is very pretty. It has like some dark purples up in there. And gold. And this is in Blackberry. So let me swatch it for you. And it looks like that. I don't know. I might not like that. It looks like it's going to make me ashy looking or something. But it looks like that. Very pretty though. So um, I think I paid like $5 for this black opal lipstick. 
$2.99 for this Black Radiance Lip Stain. And um, like $3.99 for this bronzer. I also purchased a Black Radiance Baked Blush. And this one is in Raspberry. I have Warm Berry, but I don't have Raspberry. So that is Raspberry. And this one is Warm Berry. So they are different. Raspberry is a little brighter. But not too much of a difference, if you can see that. So this is Raspberry and this is Warm Berry. So if you have Warm Berry, do not go get Raspberry because they're almost the same damn color. So the next thing that I got that I was like really surprised about and they are of good quality and I think I'm going to go back to get the rest of them is the Right Aid brushes. So they came out with their own brush line and this brush is so soft and this is the all over face brush and it is so soft and it's like dual fibers and this was eight dollars that is it but this brush is like really really nice so right they do have their own brush line so you guys need to check them out as you see it says right a renewal so i really like this brush it is so soft and I also purchased the eyeshadow brush. This was $4. And it is very soft as well. And it has dual fibers. And I also purchased the liner brush. And it looks like this. And I used it today. So that's why it's dirty. But it's so soft. And this is like the best eyeliner brush that I have purchased. The flat eyeliner brush. It is so soft and it just picks up the color very, very well. So, I really like their brushes. I'm going to go back and get all of them. I sure am. So, yeah, you guys need to pick you up some Rite Aid brushes because they are affordable. This was the most expensive one and it was $7.99. I think I'm going to go back and get the Angle Contour Brush. i probably get another flat eyeliner brush and another eyeshadow brush so that is my haul from right aid thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon bye